Munnar is a popular hill station nestled in the South Indian mountains. And it's famous for its tea plantations, misty hills, and interesting wildlife. But there's one problem. Munnar isn't exactly known for being budget-friendly. Many things here are explored through pricey tours, and the area is so big, but public transport is limited. So most people travel by private transport. But of course, we couldn't resist the challenge. And so we decided to try out if Munnar can be explored on a budget. From hopping on local buses to DIYing our own adventures. This video will show you what it's like to travel to Munnar without breaking the bank. That's amazing! It is currently 6 o'clock in the morning and we're going to Munar and I can't fit through this door. <coughs> tuk tuk! Good morning! <laughs> How are you? Well? Well, we made it so far. Let's see, I think these are the types of buses we're gonna have. I guess as long as it gets us to Yeah, well, let's, let's wait and see if you say that in four hours, but... So, we just made it to the bus stand in Kilimanjaro, and we have like half an hour until the bus leaves. I think it's time to, uh, to see if I can get a chai somewhere, because I haven't had a chai yet. Since arriving here, which kind of feels like a good time. So. Do you think it's different than the sun chai? Maybe a bit creamier? No idea what to expect. Bus ribbon again. Okay, it's gonna be heard some stories about buses. So we're gonna test if it's if it's maybe as horrendous as uh it's on us or not. Okay, we made it. We're in the bus. In the right bus. I think it's uh, it's gonna be a bit of a bumpy ride, but at least uh, we have a um, lot of air and sun. Yeah. The bus ride is supposed to take eight hours total, and will take us all the way from Kilimanjaro to Munar. I mean, if it's gonna be like this for uh, for eight hours, I can do that. There was something oddly charming about traveling by bus in India. With the windows open, the sun filtering through, and all the greenery passing by, it felt like we had front row seats to the vibrant beauty that is India. At first I didn't really get the horrible bus stories that people had told us, but as the bus got more and more crowded, we realized we were actually very lucky to have gotten some seats. Eight hours of standing definitely wouldn't have been the same fun experience. But for now, I was loving it. You ready? No. <laughs> Not at all. That's the opposite. So, we're currently in Munar and we're getting ready for a hike. It is crazy early. Hmm, you know you hit the jackpot when you have a kettle in your room. But now I have to hurry because I'm already late and I still need to drink my coffee. I'm ready, I'm ready. And here comes Flora. Ready. Coffee. Shoes tied. You look ready. I'm already out of breath by just that staircase. <laughs> This is gonna be great. I need to get back into hiking mode. There is. Early for you too? No, sir. No? <laughs> it's the hotel times. 
uh, I introduced to staying our guest only. That's why I I will come drop there. Wow. So it's a bit of a secret yeah. secret place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it's currently six o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm walking through some tea plantations. <laughs> the hotel owner, um, we asked him like, are there any cool hikes around this area? And he told us about this spot. And apparently you can't really find it in guidebooks. It's just something that he shows to, to his guests. Um, so we were very lucky to find the hotel, find this place, find such a nice owner. And so he he's the kindest man ever. He drove us to the starting point and it looks pretty cool. I mean, just look at that. So many tea plantations. So basically the only information we have about this hike is that we should walk towards Top Hill Station, Top Road, something with Top. Um, so we're just, just kind of winging it. But um, yeah, it looks beautiful everywhere you go, so. Sun! Oh my god! That's amazing! I think that a lot of people, when they think about India, they think about like chaos and like the hectic cities. But this is also part of India and it feels quite, quite the opposite. It feels peaceful and quiet and calm and serene. And I love it. Yeah, this is, this is my kind of, uh, my kind of scene. Hey. Cute. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, so you can see all the people carrying the tea. Impressive. Hi. <laughs> it was a good reminder of all the work that goes into creating that perfect cup of chai. Yeah, that's some hard and impressive work that those tea plantation people are are doing. You know you take uh, take your filming seriously when uh, you end up covered in spikes from tea plantations. Worth it. Worth it. So we just made it back into the city. For me, the memories I create by simply exploring these landscapes and enjoying the sun and nature around me are priceless. And the best part is that they are completely free. I feel like that was a pretty good, pretty good starting point of our uh, hiking time here, uh, here in Munar. But the Munar adventures aren't over yet. Next week, I'll be continuing this budget exploration by chasing sunrises and hiking up mountains showing that even the most amazing experiences don't have to cost a fortune. So stay tuned. Yay, let's go! Flora is somewhere over there. Taking different shots every 10 meters. Literally every 10 meters.
I lost Flora. She was there a second ago. Oh, there you are. Oh, hey. I was like, where did she go? <laughs> it looks kind of funny. <laughs> Just a head. <laughs> That she almost fell. I saw you slip. <laughs>